Shifting gears now, there's never a shortage of art to enjoy here in Seoul. And this week is no exception. From traditional and modern craft works to the private collection of a former American soldier who was stationed on the peninsula during the Korean War, our cultural correspondent Park Ji-won has more. At Culture Station 24 in central Seoul, a former train station turned art gallery, more than 360 pieces of traditional and modern Korean craft works by some 100 artists are now on display. They include traditional craft art pieces by late Korean masters, such as lacquerware inlaid with mother of pearl, as well as contemporary pieces like collaborative craft works that incorporate elements of light art and installation art. Korea's craft arts have many sub-areas, from textiles and wood to metal works. My work is based on intense sewing by hand, which is the groundwork of any textile craft. The exhibition is free of charge and will be open through March 9th, except on Mondays. The highlights of a private Korean art collection are currently on display in Seoul, one month ahead of a Korean art sale scheduled for March at Christie's in New York. The auction will mostly focus on the collection of Robert Moore, one of the most well-known Western collectors of Korean art. He's in Korea this week to show about a dozen pieces from his 135-item collection. Since his first visit to Korea as a soldier in the 1950s, Moore started collecting antique Korean art pieces from porcelain jars to folding screens. He says it's the unique features of Korean art that have drawn him in. Natural, spontaneous, and made to be used by everybody including the court and the most humble people. They can be very good or they can be just ordinary things, but the very good things, as you see in this gallery, are special, and that's what attracted me, and that's why I've been devoted to it. The Seoul preview will continue until Wednesday at Chinsege Gallery in central Seoul. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.